Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe, and it's a, a joy to be here with you again as we continue our journey together through the book of Psalms. Today, we are going to take a look at chapter 14. Again, we're, we're uh, being identified as this is another psalm of King David of Israel. Now, just a little reference. David lived about ten, a thousand years uh, before Jesus was was born in Bethlehem, and uh, yet how David writes, you know, over three thousand years ago, is still something that we face in today's world: evil, tragedy, conflict, and we know Satan is behind the door working all his evil magic. But here is Psalm 14, and I'm going to read uh, the first six verses. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is none who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand who seek after God. They have all turned aside Together they have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. Have they no knowledge, all the evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon the Lord? There they are in great terror, for God is with the generation of the righteous. You would shame the plans of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. You know, reading this and having a visual of the daily news that we turn on the television or, or when we get on social media and we read all the headlines and we, we hear the latest uh, news stories that are constantly developing, I feel like this psalm resonates so much with all the bad news that we see on TV, on social media, and out in the real world. You know, he, he really laments at the beginning here. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand who seek after God. You know, we as Christians feel like we're in the minority. You know, it feels like the, the world is against us. And, 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 and you know, honestly, we, we know that's true because Jesus said so. The world will hate us because of him. You know, really, David kind of writes about is there any good? Is there anyone good in the world? And the answer really is no. Neither you nor me are good. You know, I remember when, when the teacher of the law comes to Jesus with some questions and, and he, he says, good teacher. And Jesus says, why do you call me good? There's only one good person and that is God. How true that is. There's only one good person and that is God. His son, Jesus, came into this world to be God in the flesh. I appreciate verse 6 because uh, verses 1 through 5 are very uh, very honest and, and dark and, and uh, very real for us living in a fallen world. But, but you would shame the plans of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. Jesus is our refuge in a dark world in a fallen world, in, in a world where we find nothing good happening. Christ is the good in the world that we see. Now let's read verse 7. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice, let Israel be glad. You know, the honest understanding of that prophetic verse from David as this chapter ends we understand that Jesus is our salvation you know I'm the the words that are really hitting me and as I kind of am looking to prepare a Christmas sermon uh, this year uh, I'm, I'm humbled by the words of the angels to the shepherds good news of great joy you know, that is the good news that Christ brought salvation and makes salvation possible for you and me, even when we live in a world that is not anywhere good. 
In fact, it's a very bad, sinful world we live in. But the good news of great joy is God is our refuge and our strength in Christ Jesus. Will you pray with me? Father in heaven, I praise your name this Advent season. We remember that you sent forth your son Jesus, born in Bethlehem, that same Jesus who would go to lay down his life and make uh, salvation possible through his death and resurrection. But even now today, Lord, we are hoping and waiting in your return. And we pray today, come Lord Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed day and a blessed weekend, knowing Jesus is our refuge.